The USS Nimitz, commissioned in 1975, is part of the Nimitz class, known for its nuclear-powered propulsion and extensive service history. The Shandong, commissioned in December 2019, is China's first domestically built carrier, classified as Type 002, and represents a significant step in its naval modernization efforts. Both carriers are critical to their respective nation's power, but there are many factors that make them useful or useless. Let's take a closer look at the comparison. The USS Nimitz significantly outclasses the Shandong in terms of physical dimensions. The American carrier measures 1,092 feet in length, with a beam of 134 feet and a flight deck width of 252 feet. The flight deck alone spans approximately 4.5 acres, providing substantial space for aircraft operations. With a full load displacement ranging from 97,000 to 104,600 tons, the Nimitz represents one of the largest warships ever constructed. By comparison, the Shandong is notably smaller, with a length of 1,000 feet 8 inches and a beam of 246 feet 1 inch. Its displacement ranges from 60,000 to 70,000 tons at full load, making it approximately two-thirds the size of its American counterpart. The USS Nimitz carries a formidable array of defensive armaments, including four MK-38 Mod 225mm machine gun systems, two rolling airframe missile or ram launchers, two MK-29 ESSM or Evolved Sea Sparrow missile launchers, and two MK-15 20mm Phalanx Sea Whiz units. These systems provide layered defense against various threats, including anti-ship missiles, aircraft, and small surface vessels. The Shandong's defensive systems include the Type 1130 Sea Whiz, an advanced 11-barreled 30mm Gatling cannon system capable of engaging multiple threat types. The Type 1130 serves as the last line of defense against incoming missiles, aircraft, drones, helicopters, and surface threats. Neither carrier would likely operate independently in a conflict scenario. The USS Nimitz typically functions as the centerpiece of a carrier strike group, supported by multiple escort vessels, including guided missile cruisers, destroyers, and attack submarines. These support vessels provide additional defensive capabilities and extend the strike group's offensive reach beyond the carrier's organic air wing. Similarly, the Shandong would operate within a larger task force of PLA Navy vessels providing layered defense and support. However, China's experience in integrating carrier operations with fleet tactics remains less developed than that of the United States. <laughs>